the Mamba architecture strikes again. There is a new Mamba model that is actually performing almost as same as transformer model architecture. Before we see what is the new model, let's take a quick recap about Mamba because I did not get a chance to cover Mamba at the time. So let's take a brief tour of the history. Foundation models or the pre-trained models that you see these days are large scale models trained on vast amounts of data that can be adapted to various tasks. And one of the most popular architectures these days that is fueling or powering all these AI innovation is called transformer architecture, which comes from a paper that was published by Google uh, many, many years ago. The paper was called attention is all you need primarily because the heart of the transformer architecture called attention mechanism. Attention mechanism is used to process sequence of data so that, you know, it can make connection between different tokens. So transformers while being very powerful, it is also computationally very, very expensive. That makes it very hard to deal with long sequence of data. That's why if you see the large language models when started coming, first initially came only with a thousand tokens, then went to 2000 tokens. Now we have got models with a hundred thousand tokens, but initially it came with only thousand tokens. In fact, like we have had models with 512 tokens. So that is all primarily because transformers are computationally intensive and they when especially when you're dealing with long sequence of data it is a problem and that is primarily because attention mechanism calculates interactions between every pair of position in the input sequence so like if you say i am a good boy now it has to take all the parts of this input sequence and then calculate interactions between every pair this leads to a quadratic increase in the computation with the length of the sequence. So depending upon the length of the sequence, it makes a quadratic increase in the computation based on the input length. A lot of people have been always researching and looking forward to see what can we do beyond transformers. And to address this inefficiency, people have developed something that would increase the computation linearly rather than a quadratic equation. So something sub quadratic, anything below quadratic increase of the computation is a better alternative. And that is where you have got like something like linear attention mechanism. You have got like gated convolution. You have got like SSM structured state space models. You've got all these things are in place primarily to achieve that sub quadratic computation as the input increase. And the latest one in that is what we have Mamba. So Mamba is a new algorithm that uh, claims to be built on top of the existing papers and researchers and all these kind of things. Mamba does not use attention nor it uses MLP. MLP stands for multi-layer perceptron, one of the building blocks of neural networks. Mamba is described as having a high inference speed, like five times faster than transformers. And you already might know the reason because it does not use attention and it scales linearly with sequence length. So that means it's a sub quadratic architecture that has high inference speed. It performs really good with long sequence and achieves state of the art results in different types of data. And Mamba came almost in December 1st and a lot of people absolutely loved it. It was released by Albert Gru and Tree Dow. And this model has been quite good. Unfortunately, at that time, I did not cover this model, which I still regret. But if any of you have thought Mamba as a one, t one ponytail, one tail pony or one, like something like one, only one show, then you are wrong because Mamba as much as it proved how good the model itself is with the Mamba 3 billion parameter model, there is a new model that is available now that's called Mamba 3B Slim PJ that actually proves that Mamba as an architecture is a powerful alternative for transformers and people should start exploring it. So the Mamba architecture with the new data set that, uh, that they've used to fine tune the model, it's called a Slim Pajama data set. It is from Cerebras and uh, this data set is uh, like a 600 billion token data set. So Mamba 3 billion parameter model is trained on 600 billion tokens on the slim pajama data set. And this has been released under 
Apache 2 license. So you can go download the model code. You can go download the model weights. The main biggest headline news of this uh, particular model itself is even though it is trained on 600 billion tokens, it has taken 17% lesser, fewer flops, which is like the computation than an equivalent 3 billion parameter model of a transformer architecture model. So BTLM3B8K is a 3 billion parameter transformer model while Mamba is a 3 billion parameter model. Mamba Slim PJ in this particular case, it has required 17% fewer flops. That actually makes this a strong architecture, a promising architecture to build new foundation or pre-trained models. If you want to go into the details of Mamba 3 Slim PJ, you can go check. It is a 2000 or 2048 context length model and it has got really good details. You can see the, the comparison of benchmarks and also the number of parameters. So Mamba 3 billion parameter model, the Slim PJ model, BTLMB 3B8K model, the stable LM 3B4E1T. So we have got three models with approximately 2.7, 2.6, 2.8 billion parameter model. And you can see the number of tokens used, 600 billion, 600 billion, 4 trillion. And you can see the training time it was taken. So for 600 billion and similar 600 billion, you can see that it took much lesser time, according to them, 17% lesser time. You might notice like there is like somewhere around the 20 billion. I'm not sure like what is the impact of that. But you can see that it has taken lesser time in training this model while almost matching equivalent performance in terms of transformer model. So you can see on bull IQ it has scored 71, this has scored 70. On like a lot of other benchmarks you can see like for example R key it has scored 68.2, Arc C it has scored 41.7 and a lot of other benchmarks you would see that it is on par with the current state of the art deep learning architecture to build a large language model which is transformer architecture so it is super happy like i'm super happy it is super amazing to see that mamba 3 billion parameter model has again made a comeback in proving that this architecture is going to be a really promising future architecture to look beyond transformer architecture i'm not sure about agi but if you want computation efficient neural networks that will power large language models Mamba is something for you to look at. Even the latest model is already available on Hugging Faces Model Hub for you to use it. All you have to do is go here and then start using it. If you would like to see me building a Google Collab notebook with Mamba, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to you in learning a world beyond transformers, especially how Mamba is making a name for itself in the deep learning architecture. See you in another video. Happy prompting.